Tak jo lidi, vítejte u dalšího videa z Falloutu a teď se konečně dozvíme, proč vlastně vzali Sean a jeho matce a co vlastně po mně Sean, teda spíš otec institutu chce. No a pak budou další místo zase, koliko. Why take you? Ah, now that's the question, isn't it? Why me? At that time, the year 2227, the Institute had made great strides in synth production. But it was never enough. Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever onward. What they wanted was the perfect machine. So they followed the best example thus far. The human being. Walking, talking, fully articulate, capable of anything. Human synths? Really? Human-like synths. A great distinction. The Institute endeavored to create synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was human DNA. Plenty of that was available, of course. But it had all become corrupted. In this wasteland, radiation affected everyone. Even in their attempts to shield themselves from the world above, members of the Institute had been exposed. Another source was necessary. But then the Institute found me, after discovering records from Vault 111. An infant, frozen in time, protected from the radiation-induced mutations that had crept into every other human cell in the Commonwealth. I was exactly what they needed. And so it was my DNA that became the basis of the synthetic organics used to create every human-like synth you see today. I am their father. Through science, we are family. The synths, me, and you. And you've... you've been down here the whole time? I have. Yes. I know you must have questions. Please. Anything I can do to help you understand. Your father... He never got to see you grow up. Yes. What happened to him was... I've gone over the records of the incident, of course. It seems what happened to him was an unfortunate bit of collateral damage. For many years, I never questioned who my parents were. I accepted my situation, and that was that. With old age comes regret, and asking what if more often, but what matters now is that you and I have a chance to begin again. What else can I say to ease your mind? Kellogg? He worked for you? Kellogg? He was an institute asset long before I arrived here. It wasn't until I became director that I learned of all the things he'd done. What kind of man he was. I'd assume that after everything I'm sure you've seen above ground, you would be more than a bit biased against us. There is much to be done. You'll need time to acclimate yourself, a chance to become acquainted with our procedures. Not yet. I've been reviewing Child synth. To expand our operation. It's just remarkable. He's eager to get that going. So I've had to put everything else to one side. I wonder how the Warwick family is doing. Young Wally must be close to ten years old by now. It's remarkable that any child can survive for so long up there, don't you think? I... I try not to think too much about it. We have more than enough to occupy ourselves here. And those people are the last remnants of a dying past. It's best not to dwell on the subject. 
They're still people, and they're suffering. We can at least admit that it's regrettable. After all, how can we hope to redefine mankind if we can't even hold on to our own humanity? Well, that's a question best left to our colleagues in the Robotics Division. Yes, well... I suppose you're right. Dr. Carlin's doing some amazing things with our genetically engineered crops. Excuse me, Doctor. Welcome. So good to have you here. Dr. Clayton Holdren, head of the Bioscience Division. I can't wait for you to see the work we're doing. It's truly amazing. Like what? I was just about to explain that. As the name implies, the Bioscience Division specializes in fields of studies such as botany, genetics, and medicine. Our most important directive is to ensure the health and well-being of everyone in the Institute. To that end, we cultivate highly specialized breeds of flora for use in food and medicine. We've even started to explore the idea of synthetic animal life. You probably saw the gorillas. They're really just a pet project at this point, but the potential is exciting nonetheless. The gorillas are synths too? They are indeed. Judging by your reaction, We've done a good job making them seem lifelike. The initiative is still in its early stages, but the prospects are very exciting. I'm sure I've taken up enough of your time as it is, but I have to ask, have you decided whether you'll join us? I'm an outsider. Would there even be a place for me here? Even if science isn't your passion, there are plenty of ways to contribute. Our projects sometimes require an agent who can work on the surface to observe and gather information. From what I've heard, you are both fearless and resourceful. I think you'd be ideal for that kind of role. Excuse me, Doctor? Ah, it's you. You're here then. Yes, yes, I know who you are. We all do. While I'm sure Father is very happy that you're here, I do hope it doesn't interrupt our work. What is it you're working on? Advanced systems, special projects. You've seen the boy, a uh, uh, synth, already. We've been hard at work on him for quite a while now. Oh, before I forget, let me see that pit boy of yours. I've been told to install a Courser chip in it for you. Father's orders. You're to be given full access, with the ability to relay in and out of the Institute at will. Thank you. I'm sure that will come in handy. Given that the relay is the only way to access the Institute, handy is something of an understatement. In case the significance is lost on you, you'll be the only one here with that kind of access. Take good care of yourself, and you won't have to see too much of me. Sir, we've had another situation. A code red. Yes, we think I mean, there was a no, system it's not. But We're I'm looking going... into it. Right away, sir. Sir, I assure you that won't be necessary. It won't happen again. It's me. So you're the one who sent the encrypted message. How did you even do that? I wasn't sure anyone on the surface would have a chance to crack Trinity. You know, the encryption algorithm. A friend named Tinker Tom cracked your encryption. He must have had some serious hardware to pull that off. Wow. Your message was only one word. 
friend. What did you mean by that? The railroad sent me to look for someone they call Patriot. That's you. What? The railroad? As in THE railroad? And they gave me a code name too? I kept sending sins to the surface hoping someone would help them. I hoped the railroad got to some of them, but I never knew for certain. You've saved a lot of sense. So much to take in. But wait, with you in the picture, I have this idea. To rescue a lot of synths. At once. But we'll need help. Where's he working now? Right. Let's go to the West Atrium. Probably best to talk about something else right now. You know my father thinks it's a living hell on the surface. But that can't be right. Heck, you look positively normal to me. Uh, no offense. I'm not sure if we could ever make... Tak vlastně co se týče, abych tu zase, aby to nebylo o dalších pět minut další, tak vlastně já jsem si promluvil s tady těma to významnýma věcama, co jsou vlastně v institutu. Oni mě dali různé věci a poradili mi, jak by potřebovali některé úkoly prodělat a tak. Teď vlastně jdu zpátky za Seanem a ten mě vlastně řekne, že potřebuje pomoc s jedním uprchlým syntetem, kterému železnice vymazala paměť a měla ho přepravit do mimo Common Vault, mimo Boston. Jenže unesli ho nájezdníci a udělali z něho svého vůdce a já ho musím vlastně přivést na svoji stranu, to znamená, že musím je všechny poflágat, ale to uvidíte příště, takže Vlastně, co se týče, tak se Seanem se ještě budu bavit asi tak pět minut, takže to je osobně zbytečné, abych to tu dával, takže se uvidíme u dalšího videa.